my birthday! My birthday! It's my birthday! Yay! Birthday! Birthday! Woohoo! Birthday time! Calm yourself, young prince. You know excitement is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. But father told me today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Of course, I'm sure it will be wonderful. Ah, there is my little... Uh... Which son is this one? There are so fucking many. Stolas, your highness. Stolas, yes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's the one. The owl boy. Well, my little one, it is finally your day of becoming a true part of the Goetia family. How good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Yes, father. You will be entrusted with the study of the earth skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies of your grimoire, which will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and pass on your knowledge to. I will do my best, father. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goetia family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she charming? <laughs> oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> that usually works. Oh, would you like it if I took you to the circus in town? Children enjoy the circus, right? Would that distract you enough from your non-negotiable future marriage? Is there a spot that is close to the front, but also far enough that I don't have to... Uh, smell the poor? Want to see me make a horse? Crap. Well, <laughs> it was a horse, but then it ate too much sugar and its leg stopped working, so it had to amputate. Now it's a gross worm horse. <laughs> See, he gets it. Because horses, they make no sense. Okay, Blitzo, that's enough horsing around. Hey, everybody, look at this. It's Banana Pudding the Clown Horsey. <laughs> I liked his broken horse stroke. It was funny. Their legs do stop working when they eat too much sugar. It's called laminitis. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> that was real great. So, uh, <clears throat> that little clown you have, my son really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. Buy him? Purchase him. Yes, accurate. My son doesn't have any friends, you see, and he liked the little clown boy. It's his birthday. He's so sad, and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzeroli is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, so it would be pretty expensive. <laughs> no, no. The other one. Blitzow? Correct. How much? Uh, well, he's my son, so... Ah, uh, uh, how much you got in your pocket? 
a uh, wadded up five and a slim fit condom. Yeah, that's plenty. Done. Splendid. Fetch him for me and we will be on our way. I'm banana pudding and I like to dance. I am warm horse. No, I, I am sad. Why are you sad, warm horse? Because I have no legs. Oh, well that's okay. I lost my legs in the war. <gasps> the war? Yes, the great pirate war. No. No pirates. The Great Pirate War! If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I fought bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> oh no, ew, no blood. Blood is disgusting. No, it's cool. <laughs> well, Banana Punning is here to save the day. With his magical feet, he dances around with. He will dance all over Warm Horse and make him feel better. And then... There'll be more blood! <laughs> what so? That's so gross! Stop! <laughs> Boy, I got a job for you. You are going to spend the day with one of the Goisha princes. Ew, why? Because money! Now listen carefully. You are being brought out to be his playmate, but I want you to steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly can. Steal? But, but if I get caught? Don't you want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. Yep. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things, aren't there, son? But... Yes, Papa. Here is your new friend, my son. A happy birthday. A friend? I guess. Hi. Uh, I'm Bloodza. I'm Stoneless. It's nice. Ouch! Don't bother that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, right. Sorry, father. I'm so good at daddying. This is my book on the difference between frogs and toads. There's a lot of differences. And this is my book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. You know it would be fun? A game. Let's play treasure hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we throw them out the window. We throw them out the window? Yes. Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since like the dawn of time. Come on, pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. I don't think they had windows. What, did a book say that? Yes, actually, several. Well, in this game, we're throwing them out the window because it's fun. Well, that's an odd game. <gasps> Is this an imp game? Sure, why not? Well, if it's what you want to play, let's do it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs>
Your diary? No, this is my new grimoire. It's a spell book. I have to learn it so that I can access the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it to study the sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up. To join the rest of the Goetia family. Well, you know what I'm going to do when I grow up? I'm going to run my own circus, and I'm going to be the most famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I want to do all day. I'm going to make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big office. A big office? For a circus? Yeah, a big office. Circus business with clowns and horses. And the horses will all have good names, like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That sounds like a good business. Yeah, and if you apply, I'll hire you. Maybe. <laughs> You'll hire me? Yeah, if I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. <laughs> You'd be a good boss. You say that with sarcasm, but I totes would. <laughs> Is calling us, Stella. Uh, here you get up. <sighs> Fia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. A really bad dream. <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Fia. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared, and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How silence grows under the moon. Constellations gone so soon I used to think that I was bold I used to think love would be fun Now all my stories have been told Except for one As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Everything will be okay. And if the seven rings collapse, although the day could great expanse of the nether, there exist boundless amounts of magnificent phenomena. The great brilliance of an exploding star, the nimble dance of space dust through a nebula. But once every 1,000 years, our corner of reality is treated to an incredible sight. From the deep eldritch recesses of the cosmos, the tears of a forgotten colossus begin to fall. Tears made of the hopes and dreams of every living thing that never came to be, condensed and sent shooting across the night sky in a dazzling final display 
What appears to mortal beings as a meteor shower, we can see for what it is. As a thought's tears. <laughs> Daddy, can we go see it someday? Yes, dear, I promise. When the day comes, nothing will be able to keep me from being there with you. Good night, my owlet. But to be fair, it's no picnic being married to a boring stiff like Stolas. Stella, what in hell is this? Ugh, Stolas, you know I like throwing parties. Plus, it's true, so you can come if you want. He just lays there staring at the wall and I have to do everything. It's embarrassing. I'm glad one egg fell out of me so I could stop pretending to want to fuck his scrawny twig ass. <laughs> what a pathetic fucking man. <laughs> do you have anything stronger than this? We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. Poor people, I'm so glad that they're not allowed in this place. They can't come anywhere near me. <laughs> can you imagine if you didn't have what, 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 money? What, 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 Stole us, what, sir! What, what, what. <coughs> I'm fine. We got this nasty imp trying to sneak into your chambers. What should we do with him? Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. Uh, leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. Follow me, imp. Look, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your, whatever, the party. I, I was just trying to... Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do? Yes. You were here to ravish me, weren't you? Uh... You? Why else would you be breaking into my room? You could have asked to visit, you know. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah! Yeah, well, uh, you know, I figured, you know, since you're a prince and all, it might just be easier to you know, scale the walls and slip on in. It certainly is easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think you might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. No, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make an entrance. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, over two decades since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, <laughs> no, no, not anymore. No, I kill people now. Oh, how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid do you want to be? Oh, well, um, well, I, uh, you know, I was teasing. I don't really... You know, you seem pretty tense. How about I help you out there? Um, you know, this is, um, getting a wee bit... Is it hot? I'm starting to feel it getting very hot. Oh, what are you doing? I barely remember your name. It's Blitz. Oh, didn't it have an O at the end? Like a clown name? I remember. Oh. Yeah, well, it's silent now, okay? So call me 
Blitz. Okay, Blitz, what are you doing to me? What do you want me to do to you? I, uh, well... Uh, ah, ah, oh my fuck! Wow! Oh, you are so forward, Blitz! Oh, what are we doing? No, no, stay down, damn it! Oh, so you like to command? You like being in charge, hmm? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, so you're a kinky little imp, are you? Do you like it when I talk to you dirty? I want you to me with your imp. Get it all the way, get it all the way through me, you. Oh, stop it! Yes, if that's what Blitzy wants. Blitzy, oh my! Yes! Oh, I've never had anyone want me this way. You have no idea how long I've craved this kind of passion, and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever friend. Oh, all right, fine. I can do this real fast. Sorry, I fucked your husband. What the fuck was that, Stolas? That was the sound of a fucking divorce! <laughs> oh, you slept with an imp in our fucking bed! It wasn't expected. I didn't have time to go to a motel. A motel? Like a fucking plebeian? The world is burning down around me. Oh, of course not! You are a goddamn embarrassment! I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! Oh, fucking <sighs> Good morning, Octavia! Did you sleep well, my owlet? Is that a serious question? Mm-hmm. What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World Is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? Um. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our oh, money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f*** me. What? Who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goetia family is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, Blitz, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what? Why, hello, my big dick, Blitzy. <laughs> What the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. I have a special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand? Lululand! Shut the fuck up! Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, alright? Hey, Dad. 
Do we have to? Okay, right, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look, it's big, lovely. <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on, it's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there. Ah! I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu Land. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> Look, here, yeah, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. no. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. You really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money-wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. Now, about I take the first watch while you two have a little fun? Oh! We gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Oh, crumbs! <laughs> Quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Thea! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, I hate, I hate that, that fucking, fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy! I need my bodyguard, please! Hey, 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 please! It's me, the robotic Fizzarali! Shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land spelled with O's to avoid lawsuits. Get it? I can handle. Okay, one game, please. Ow, strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. <sighs> What's wrong with this thing? Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. Wow. Ah. Another! I sing along with the Lulu band, every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu! Oh, 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 how delightful! Oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. 
Oh, I can't do this anymore. Octavia! <laughs> Is that Litso, my sensor spot of air? I guess the kitties are still running away from you, huh? <laughs> uh oh, it's silent now. Uh -huh. Just like your audience always was when you told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone's salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! Watch me! Arcades! I say, I say, get your inconvenient torches here! Ow! I say, ow! <laughs> wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Sir? Oh, hey guys! You should probably go, uh, make sure Stolas is okay. I've got some unfinished business to take care of. Oh, what a mouth! <laughs> Jammy Nathan! You ruined another bloody photo! Why were you even born? Octavia? Just leave me alone! Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now! Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Uh, busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia. I take it you are... not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand, your mother and I, I just, I felt, she's always been, I haven't been, ha, we weren't in, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him? And leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> so, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> Life, dude.
do ya? Listen up, you unoriginal pink tongue duck! You have three goddamn seconds to get your tits out of my parking spot! Oh shit! Verosica! Litzo. I should have known you'd be here. I could smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down! And I should have known you'd be here when I heard the Amber Alerts. Oh yeah? I'm surprised they let your fat ass out of rehab. I could see you're still a drunken whore, clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous, and rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. I'm doing a bit of freelance for one of the infinitely more successful companies in the building. No way. And they wanted way. to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? Uh, no, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car and, and run, run three, three rings to rap, rap and, and max, max my credit, credit cards card on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Pussy wagon right now, or I'm gonna. You'll what? Or I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll call HR. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, meet my new hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Ta ta, Fuckstein. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verosica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? I just... Is she blind? Suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that all totally kinds that. of times, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! What? It's a pop star. You'd want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. Millie, find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Looney, Moxie, let's go handle this shit. Do you think they saw me? Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Dad! Oh, blitz! Oh. Whoa. Hi, big man. Where's your bitch bag of an employer? She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucky floor, so they rented one here on this one. Jeepers. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music. So her status to me is name recognition alone. In my opinion, Boxy, shut the fuck up. Alrighty then. Hello, Miss Verasica, was it? I work for Imp, and it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, but I'm married. Hey, why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick boss? <laughs> Don't let her access any of your holes! I... I gotta go lie down... now. Oh, this won't stand! <laughs> All right! That's it! If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking... challenge! Fuck, I said that twice. Mmm. Is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is! What's the game then, Blitzo? Every year, you STD spreaders go up topside for easy pickings, while spring break is a prime time for crime of all kinds. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're gonna do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We light it on fire to attract the shark. 
guards and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. They come and eat the bodies. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a flawless presentation of what we should do, Mox. It's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism, you talentless baby dick troll? Well, why don't you take an art class? Why don't you see how expensive they are? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? Absolutely not. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in? Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. Looney can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now we wait. Sir, there is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> now, who's first? Now remember, we can't be seen, all right? And loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> got it. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look downright awful. I am so proud. Now fetch! in the bag. I'd like to see that Willie snatch orgasm that many. All right, spring breakers. Y'all ready to get fucked up and make some bitches bad choices? Fire! mating call. Now she's gonna win all these sex maniacs. We gotta pick things up, guys. See you on the list, Looney. Huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Good! Oh, whoa. What are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? But you sure shit ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, next one, Looney. Come on. Looney. What? 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 Where's my baby? You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Yeah, <laughs> sorry if that's weird. It's cool, her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah, yeah, I'm Luna. <laughs> okay. Hey, Vertex! <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Probably, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. 
but my friends call me Tex. Oh yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah. Team Eminem and getting shit done, making the money. Let's get the fuck out of here. You're gonna get us all into shit. I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What, I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line. Hey, dude, why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz. Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. Let's... I'm... Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. Uh... Damn, girl, that was savage. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He'll get over it. He always does. <laughs> I'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least. Mm. Takes guts. Thanks. did you get four heads? I wanna kiss them. She totally pegs you, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah! Way to show off, Mills! Is Max okay? Oh, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. And so. <laughs> okay, this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect! That must be the whores. That was handled rather obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> you know, me so fucked! <laughs> yeah, well, you three nasty ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum! 
You know, we could keep this little B-movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Looney Tooney. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in our fat fucking space. <laughs> Put your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts. Get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh. Uh. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. When this happens, it's not really something I fuss about. But do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important. And it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty ints like yourself. Oh. The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. Oh, why don't you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> Look, I told you, we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuckfest invite, it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. <laughs> What do you want, sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival? Yee fucking all! <sighs> well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> Mama! Daddy! Yeah! How's my deadly little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa. Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. It's no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing fine. It's fine. Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Moxie. <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Joe. How have you been now uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here? We lost our old farmhand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs. My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, bucko. Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't met my boss, Blitz, and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. Y'all don't deserve to know my name. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out this little gem of an assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> that we did. So, Blitz, is it? <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. Uh, nothing like a little war to make a strong man. I like you people. You know, more battles were won by technological advances in warfare. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of Hell's combative... I mean... War fun! Guns get the job done, but a man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. Ha! 
He's right, Moxie. You got cute with your baby hands like your baby did. Refrain, sir. Speaking of strong hands, y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! Well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Oh! <laughs> what are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh, the free working finally slowing down? Oh, no! Freelance isn't free, it's a... Never mind. We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Boss, huh? Oh, so you're the bold imp that started his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Yeah, it is. I, I, I guess... I guess it is, isn't it? So you even conned that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. But he's not like, you know, we're, we're not, like, we're not doing a, we, the, what's between, it's a transactional fucking, you see. You know, you boys should enter the pain games. I heard games, what games? I'm in. Every Harvest Festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in Raph. Yeah! Wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. Still, you get to root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. You know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, I can compete, can't I? <laughs> Sorry, boy, but I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I have some fight in me. Huh. Well then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Simple. Watch me. Nah, with these. Bullets can't pierce a shell. You gotta get the knife underneath them. Pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. I knew that. Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> oh. Mox, you don't need to do this. Oh, he totally does. Take it fast, Moxie! Yeah! Fucking beautiful. Doing great, Moxie! Send me that video later. Ow! My clavicle! Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. Hey, boss man! You wanna help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What who said? Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <sighs> don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. <laughs> now they won't. What? I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. <sighs> Piss would you be if I bet on him dying? Welcome, I say you welcome all to Rat the Rings annual harvest moon festival. To kick things off, we have the great Prince Solas here to usher in this here pain game. <laughs> How kind, Quackfoot. Greetings, tiny Rat Ring imps. I hereby welcome you all to another year of celebrating the spoils of your labor that continue to feed the citizens of hell. I'm happy to kick off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest imps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all! Especially that sexy little one there. Yoo-hoo, Blitzy! Ah, oh, fuck me. Motherfucker! They are safe for the first year 
right, fucking dick. All right, so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. Oh, what the fuck? Sweet the day, I smell the smell. From open stick in heaven to the rugged rocks of earth. Sweet victory with everything I do. With every talent, I'm so much more talented than you. Isn't this guy great? False. It's gonna be nice working with him. Working? What? Yeah. I asked him if he wants to join IMP. You asked? Max, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Mopsy, go fuck yourself. Did you hear something? It was just the wind. Thank you. You took that. troubling. Oh my crumbles! A genuine carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle! How... How in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Well, why do you have this, mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill... Demon royalty? Yes, that. No shit. That's kind of the point. Okay, while I, I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your possession of this, I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. I'd kill y'all, but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Plus, you little things ain't worth the cleanup. Yeah. Millie! Oh, Satan! Moxie, I'm fine. I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bouquet, and it was fucking worth it. You just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. But I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not with your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably should have used this earlier, huh? <laughs> I love you, hon. But for fuck's sake. My dear commoners of the Ring of Wrath, I, Stolas of the Arves Goetia, hereby curse this year's harvest with the glow of the true harvest moon. <laughs> uh, excuse me, the fuck? Let's. I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl on stage? Huh. And now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to about to off my easiest lengthy ticket to Earth behind my back. Liz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be slaying overlords. 
Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you? When you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable. Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kinda hot. We could be the most dangerous beings in hell. Blitz. Wow, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. Huh? Took you long enough, Mox! Haha! <laughs> wow, you should have seen your dipshit face! Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Oh, you daddy fucker! You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? Ha! You seem to have forgotten something, fucko! Oh, fucking damn it, Luna. It's a damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk no! I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence? Pardner. Vermin. Who's weak now, bitch? Okay, I'm here. Maybe you'll get me next time, Blitzy. I can't believe you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Mom. And he was slippery. Excuses. You're better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. But Millie has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on her case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. Aw, oh, Moxie, look at you. Speeching like a big boy with his big pants. acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? Uh, I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! Understood. I'll get him next time. <laughs> right there! This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. And they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. But why? They always attack at random, all over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Ah, oh, well, that's convenient. Shh. Remember, we can't be seen. Pardon my words, sir, but you're currently being the loudest. I said shush your dick-sucking lips, Moxie. Get down! Close it! Wait, no! I get a Moxie! I smell colors. Back off, you tuxedo wearing fox! I'd like to see the suits at corporate corners loses now. That was pretty badass. Super badass. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Ah! Uh, you, uh, shit. you okay there? What are you doing sitting there? The boys are in trouble! 
Open it again! Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! <laughs> It smells like they went this way. Come on, let's find the dumbass twins. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I, oh, okay. Tell us, demon scum. Who do you work for? Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock, and I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappuccino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, affogato and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add- Enough! We aren't getting his coffee! Wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If we have to, we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say tortured, you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much, and then you've got a whole new thing to deal with. What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Good one, sir. Daddy likey. You better stop laughing at us. Yeah! You are the ones at our mercy. It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what? Hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! Oh, a smart guy, huh? One more quip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting cakey. <laughs> we aren't playing any of Isle Demon Kinks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're into. Stop! We are not getting cakey with you. Calm down, one. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we gonna get our phone call, bitch? <laughs> well, that entirely depends. Who are you gonna call, hmm? Your fat mom thanking her for a fat time. Nice try, demon. His fat mom is dead! This where they ended up? I think so. Fuck, this looks intense. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van. agile for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. Don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly. It usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always. Five fucking feet away from you! It's pathetic! That 
was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit is tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking dare you? You have shitty taste in music! I'm sorry! Shit taste? You said you liked that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I left halfway through. You, you said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. <laughs> This is gonna be a good night! <coughs> Damn it, Moxie! This is all your fault! How is this my fault? Blitz? <coughs> I, I can't see you! God, this smells awful! What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It say is no prank, bitch! Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy- Stop it, are sir! Are tripping balls! No! What? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip! Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault! My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. left out on the cold, rainy porch of a fresh April shower. Now, why are you talking like that? What the fuck does that even mean? I am simply speaking Satan's plain English. Perhaps you should crack open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can read on and on about on my shit Shut up! Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must I you push my friends, friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? I don't know. Eventually, everyone goes. Because you're thoughtless and cruel, and you'll end up alone. And me, my dear boss, you don't know what you are doing half the time. And you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need you. I can do this shit on my own so easily. But you don't want to do you tried to sell that way and it didn't work out so well. <laughs> Can you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish shitty shit? <laughs> I may have enough of it one day as well. Stop fucking talking, all of you! Why, Moxie, why have
Have you held your true feelings inside? I am scared of rejection. Why, Moxie, why do you have Millie put it in your butt? It gives me an erection. No hey. need to hide. We accept your true feelings, so promise me that I can do to, to be, be true. true. The world is your anus, so peg it with honesty. Oh. I've been a jackass, it's true. You've been a jackass, but it's true. But soon as we're back as ourselves, I, I will be, be a better, better friend than I was before. Be better at speaking my mind. And together, together we can begin. begin to become fine. Try one. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but you said that because I needed it. And it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct. But just keep doing a good job. Okay? You shoot and kill good, you escape things easy, you can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to, and don't expect any more compliments, I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. There's my Millie! Impressive work, Mills! How'd you get here all by yourself? Looney! Get your asses out here before more fuckers show up! <laughs> Okay, I've had one too many emotions for today, guys. Let's fuck these fuckers up! <laughs> Damn it, you're right. Look at it! 
This weapon tit dry, and now we're out of badassery. Ha! You demons aren't going anywhere now! Ah. Who dare? My impish little lady. Who said that? Agent O. <laughs> What's the matter, Demon Hunter? Never seen a real demon before. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, how did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? Ugh, I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. They caught us off guard, your highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Stolas. It's not gonna happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> kooks. Such a silly word. Now, let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. All right, but you're keeping quiet, or I'm using those bear traps. Oh, please do. So what now? What now? We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Nobody in corporate is ignoring this. You better stay jazzed, ha-cha. Babe, because guess where I'm taking you tonight? Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Sides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, it's our one-year marriage anniversary, so I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. <gasps> Ozzy's? No way! That place is always books. Yeah, well, I've been planning it for quite a while. Mom! 
Uh, you, can you two not? <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Maybe another time. Oh, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. Uh huh. Just us. Mm hmm. Without you there. Explicitly without you there. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal after all. Yeah. See you, love bugs, later. Relax, sweetie. Don't let him get to you today. Let's just go home and clean his blood off. Elevator 666, departing for last in five minutes. Yeah, it's Luna. Whoever you are, go for it. Hey, Looney. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No date, no reservation, no entry. Y you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. You fucking prude! Gabriella. Hello, hello, Blitzy. Stolas. Hey, you, uh, she busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? I was wondering if you want to come with me to a club tonight. Are you asking me on a date, Blitzy? I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to Lust? I can be ready in 20. All right, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy. I'm here. Wow. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> well, well, I, I just wanted to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess this is, huh? You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Do we have a problem? Oh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, my apologies, Your Highness. Uh, please, go right in. Dick, is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. Gotcha. Oh, Blitz, what are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. How about that? Can I get you two off? I mean, start you two off with some drinks. Yes, um, perhaps some wine to share. Do you prefer red wine or white blitz? Or perhaps some champagne? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, blitz, how was your day? Huh? 
Oh, that uh, good, I guess. We killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. How did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets? Right, right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Welcome, welcome to Aussie's. Lust Ring's number one place for all kinds of sick, twisted fantasies. Put on display for all you sleaze and sleazettes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love! Did he just say Osmodius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzarali. Some of you might recognize this dashing clown face from my numerous toy toybotic replicas across the rings of hell. Gloriously designed by the big man himself and, uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. We have a great lineup for you tonight. Ferocica Mayday, Wet Dream, and the Squirters! But as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what, I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. That robo-me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without wasting any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp from the Wrath Ring, give it up for Moxie! With no creative stage name whatsoever. Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor to play. Uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sing, boy. I say, I say. Uh, this song is for my beautiful wife, a surprise for our first anniversary. I love you, Millie. I love you more than the brimstone loves the fire, more than the Elsa loves her bub, more than a maggot loves gangrenous stubs. You make my spirits sing. Yeah, you make me glad I live in hell. Our love is a story sweet to tell. Yeah, you cast a special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart I love you, 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 Ozzy's ain't the place for sentimental sounds. What'd you expect from a proprietor like us? Your demon host, Osmodius, the embodiment of lust. Give me a thrust. You show me some lust. From the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmodius. Trumpet. Hey, little imp, you came here to sing your serenade. Form your feelings on a velvety stage. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these parts. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. You want to hang around this lustful town? Ditch the lovey dummy before we knock you around. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loin hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. Show me some love. In the house of Osmodius Come on, sing us a song Make sure the subject is getting it on Make it gruff, fantastically loud Be sure to rhyme thong and schlong Go ahead, your mic's on 
I want to. Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff, piss play, bondage? Make gentle love to you. Uh, what a lip dick if you're really killing the vibe. Get a load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied ride. Hey now, I've watched those two pork many times. What? Blitz! And honestly, they make missionary look relatively exciting. Is that Blitz though? To your show in your face? Hey everybody! This guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo, I used to date. Oh, Veronica, you're here. A stroke on my plate. Yeah, but when it was my turn, he didn't know reciprocate. A selfish imp in the sheets. I'm just a bad in the streets. A reckless, heartbreaking freak. At your table, is your data demon Prince? Stoke, is that you? Are you sleeping with an amp? Woo! My dark lord, how the mighty do fall. You used to have a smoking wife, a kid, you had it all. I hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up. You sold your life for a thrust. Now that's the spirit of love. Grab your groin in a robust. You better get your hair must. And you don't see that crust Hop till you jump to the dust In the house of a slow I think you were trying to sing something for me, Mox Yeah, I was I love us I love us just the way we are Don't have to pretend to like to do things we don't I've always got you open to laugh at my stupid jokes I'll never take you for granted I'll always give you my best And if you can offer the same fate We'll handle the rest Cause I love you Cause I love you You know what, this was a mistake. All right, let's just, let's just leave. Oh, right, of course. Mm. Oh, ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. Thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe cuddle. Solus, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. I'm gonna drop you off here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. Make it. Tech, 
Alex. Yeah, hey, thanks for inviting me. Of course, of course. Hey, everyone, meet the new face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You want a drink or anything? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Gotta, unless you're fucking proud at this time. That is so not fetch. Not fetch. <laughs> yeah, like that happens all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. OMJ. Luna? Lunatic Luna? That you? Uh, yeah, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this? This year, right? Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. <laughs> wow, you're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. <gasps> oh, my dog. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true. You can't say that. Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. <clears throat> no. Ha <laughs> ha! How are my dirty bitches doing tonight? <laughs> Y'all ready to party with the queen bee of gluttony? Come on. Flowing tonight, and this bitch about to get fucking wild. Let's get it started! Hey, I'm what you need, I'm what you want. I got it all, a carnival. I'll bring you up, I'll take you down. I'm sticky sweet, stuck in your teeth.
feel like I went a little too hard with the confetti this time though. I have like a rainbow in my vagina right now. Oh hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I, though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, oof, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die, because it was so awkward, because he's more like a brother to me, you know, but not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up, woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey! Thank you for coming! Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? Okay, good. Okay, great. Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo! The always silent asshole! Hey, I knew it was you! Fuck, man, where you been? You, you here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh, shit, you have a daughter now? Adopted! Man, you're already leaving? Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney wants to head back. Uh, howdy next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, these people seem to know you. Come on. I think I want to give this another try. Please? Okay, fine. Maybe one drink. Blitz! 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 challenge for you. Oh, he's gonna die. Alright, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready. Bring it, Barky. I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> Talker, but there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, it's Queen Bee too scared to lose to a little imp like me. Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz. Fuck her up. You can do it. Well, fuck me. What's a first? I haven't had a first in a while. That was magical, seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. Respect. Ow, ow!
Hey, Lou, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but your, uh, dad, guy dude, is, um, he's seeming a bit... Out of control. Like, a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You wanna maybe check on him or something? What? No! No, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time. But he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So I feel like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties. And he's giving off a very not okay Vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? You got a problem? Sorry. Don't follow me. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Nope. I'll uh, I'll check on him. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry. I know. I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now let's dance. This guy. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with the... Uh, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ on a stick, you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me! I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight! I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat! Better. <laughs> You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. Uh, it's, it's lonely. I'm gonna die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? Smell the stolen. Fuck! Yeah, I did need to throw up. by your time on stage then you walked in my room and like sparks in the dark life was suddenly thrilling and new what's between you and I just a comfortable lie I'm the fool who believes when you look in my eyes all alone upon your throne, your power is so frail. You raise your voice, you have no choice. 
inside your gilded chair. The fuck are you doing? Reflecting. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason, to birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out. Now. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace. Out of my life. We are getting the divorce. How dare you? What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And Drelf is... I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you'll pay for it. <sighs> hey, Dad! Dad? Dad? Yes, I know. It will be there shortly. Of course they're being careful. Dad, what's going on? Apparently, your mother can't exist somewhere two minutes without the entirety of her possessions before she... What? No, I'm not turning her against you. You're... Yes, Stella! Dad, this is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh, I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. Don't be gentle about it now. Break whatever you have to to get it all in there. What? What? But tonight, we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. Well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen you read. Wait just a shit. Looney, please, can we talk? Fuck! I mean, wow, a good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you! What's this all about, honey? Oh, let's finally talk to her about her attitude with clients. I just think some small tweaks might help you be more of a uh, people person, you know? I am a people person! If I'm so terrible, how about you just grow a pair and replace me? Okay, well, maybe I... maybe I might. What? Maybe I will, little missy. Yeah, that's right, it's tough love time, so now you can go to your desk! <sighs> uh... Sir, if I may say so, you're doing the right thing. If we can't even hire a cheerful, qualified receptionist, how can people trust us to massacre and mutilate their enemies for them? It's good for business. Take me to see the stars. Sir? The fuck? Luna? Oh yeah, you have a visitor. 
Where am I? My territory, bitch! Take your shitty costume and get some fuck ah! off my corner! Shit, 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 shit! What the fuck am I supposed to tell Stolas? Well, he seems to like you, sir. Maybe he would understand. Okay, it. my dick is good, but it is not that good, Moxie. Sir, I don't think we really have a choice. So what? You want me to just call him up and be like, "Hey, Stolas, so your daughter came by, took your book, and teleported off to who the fuck knows where? We have no way of getting either of them back." Okay, okay, good talk. Bye. Wow, oh, that actually went better than I thought. Do you, can you help? How, how do I get? I, I excuse me. I just need to know where I can see the stars. <laughs> yes. How could this happen? Do you just let anyone waltz into your office and grab infinitely powerful artifacts? Why would she do this? How are we supposed to find her? Where would she go? <laughs> well, it reeks of urine and desperation. So. Ugh, L-A. What? All right, Luna, let's make this quick. In and out before anyone notices us here. Oh, this doesn't look much different from hell. All right, now let's get to work. Looney, sniff. How am I supposed to smell anything in this city? Can't you even do one thing right? Can't you finally do something about how fat you are? I'm not. You know, it wouldn't kill you to put a salad in your body every now and then. What? But I'm not fat. Now, first things first, if we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, we're gonna need disguises. No chance you can conjure us a couple of those, can you? Sadly, no. I'm afraid without my grimoire, my powers are just a tad limited in the human world. What, you can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great? What's his phone number? Fuck you. Exactly. Little man, how about you check out this demo right here? This is premium grade A fire right here. Perfect for you to crank with the little lady. Oh, wow. You made this? Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. hold up a sec. You just gonna grab it and go? He said thank you. 20 bucks, man. Millie, we need money to pay this talented artist. You can just give it back, Mark. <gasps> Millie. These artists put their heart and soul into their work. I can't just give it back like it's worthless. It probably is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal as fuck. I have an idea. Whoa. Oh, hey, 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 come back here. Uh, I have an idea. <sighs> and to your left, you'll see the home of one of those influencers who thinks they're hot shit because now they do TV shows. <sighs> so? Ah! Look, everyone! It's Hollywood star Brendan Rager! The fuck is a Brendan Rager? Oh, oh dear. You're my lovely little monster, and I'll never say goodbye. I will kill for you until the day we die. And here you are, my fellow troubadour. Whatever, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're cramping my business. Come on, babe. We have to catch up to Blitz before... Hey, wanna buy some art? What? Yes! I'm taking this out of their face! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Ragers. We've been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to be on set an hour ago. The fuck are you talking about? Your guest spot on... Sweetie, I'm in the house. We're taping tonight. Now hurry up and get in the car. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm not going anywhere with you, Jizz Biscuit. Very funny, Mr. Ragers. Now get in the car. Psst, 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 psst. Come, come on, boy. Come on. Get your fucking hands off me. Luna stole this little help here. Excuse me, sir. I'm Mr. Rage's agent, and I don't believe you can just... Oh, you are strong. Oh. Blitz, we don't have time for this. Fia could be anywhere. She could be in danger. Don't worry, I'm on it. Cody, go find Fia. We'll catch up soon. Yeah, way to be a team player, sweetie. She's in great hands. on in five. What? Five what? I, I can't be on a sitcom. Should have had an ego crisis before signing the contract. Uh, I, I, whoa, I don't even know the fucking lines, idiot. Well, that's why God invented teleprompters. Shouldn't he rehearse or something? No can do. We're live in ten, nine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Six, and, uh, five, I, I, I can't do this. No, not again. Uh, I haven't performed since... Blitz, if your performance on stage is half as good as it is in bed, you'll leave them breathless. Now hurry up and wow them so we can get back to finding Via. Break a leg, darling! Action! Well, if it isn't our neighbor, Ronnie. You feel that earthquake earlier? Say something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just my wife rolling out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then that bitch hit her head on the way down and shattered her skull. <clears throat> There's blood everywhere. Peter Pants. <laughs> You've gone and done it again. That's the fifth couch this year. <laughs> you know, maybe it's about time I found you a new home. One that could put up with your attitude. I can take him, Mr. Ronnie. I'd be happy to adopt old Uggy and give him the attention he needs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should adopt. Aw, they're all so cute. And they're sad. Maybe you could adopt this one, yeah. Quite a strong lad. He'll be perfect for whatever work you want to use him for. Yeah, no, I'm not looking for no ugly wonker. I need something that's more family friendly. A gift for the wife, huh? No problem. We have a nice selection of other hounds. Who's that? Oh, her. That's just Luna. 
What a nightmare. Serious attitude problems. She'll be out of our hair next month when she ages out. Good riddance, if you ask me, she'll never amount to anything much. No, 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 you, you can't have her. She is mine and I love her. But Mr. Ronnie, you gotta let me have the puppy. You just gotta. Don't you touch her, you little anal fissure. <laughs> Oh, you think this is funny, assholes? She's not fit to be a mother! I saw her doing lines of coke in her dressing room! Now, uh, Ronnie, I think maybe you should... Ow! You can't have my baby, bitch! I'll never get rid of her! How did you find me? Your Instagram. Nice pics, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you okay? Can't believe I was so stupid. I spent all day looking for a place where I can see some dumb meteor shower. And all I get is this. Yeah, smog's a bitch. You know, your dad's really worried about you. Right, that's why you're here instead of him. He couldn't be bothered to keep his promise and now he can't be bothered to come and get me himself. He'd rather spend his time just screaming at my mum. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? <sighs> sometimes, sometimes it's not as simple as that. Kind of shit gets messy. And everybody's got issues, especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Well, all the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. <laughs> He's here? Looking for you. I mean, try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but he's trying. That's more important than you think. You ready to go? Yeah. Now, if we can just find where... Oh, no. Oh, Luna, my sweet baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'll never replace you no matter what you- You're good. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. I just wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? Azathoth's tears. Oh no. Oh my dear sweet Fia, I am so... I know, Dad. It's okay. You're here now. What the fuck is that? My acting career! Look at that one! Did you see that one? Now, where the fuck are Eminem? Uh, oh, oh, art is heavy! March, Miss 
faster. You know, I checked the scale today, and it said I lost two pounds this week. I am not fat! Nilly, honey, everything okay? Yeah, just bumped into an ex. Oh, oh. He just kept going on about how he has money now and a bright future and a bigger cock. Wait, what? Every time I see his stupid face, I can't help it. I just need to. What the fuck is all this noise? I got a client. Sorry, sir. I'll get this all clean. What is this? Uh, research for science. Just put it back correctly, okay? I alphabetized them. Okay, so let me get this straight. You don't want us going to Earth at all for this job. Correct. That will not be necessary. I'd like to meet you and your whole crew at my estate. Uh, you want us killing someone in hell? Because I gotta tell you, that ain't exactly our business no more. I'll tell you all about it when you're here. It's in regards to a business venture I'm sure will be very worth your time. Ooh, how ominous. <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's the address? Transportation has already been taken care of. What the fuck is that? Satan's ass crack! Enough with the wall shit! We have a door! My research! I am pay! Right this way, please! Uh, sir, what's going on? Now don't worry, it's just some fancy schmuck from Greed wanting to do business with us. Uh, sir, I don't think this is a good idea. It'll be fine. Now get your asses moving. Is this thing safe? Don't worry, we are professionals! I hate this place. Oh yeah, this is your old stomping ground, isn't it, Mox? Yeah, unfortunately. I grew up just over there, swore I'd never come back, and uh, uh, what, what, where, where are we going? What, Blitz, who did you say this meeting was with? I'm not sure, just some rich somebody or other who wants to discuss biz at his place. Oh, no, 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 no! My boy, get over here and give your daddy a hug. Daddy? I only let Moxie call me that. Unless you pay me. <laughs> Guys, um, <clears throat> this is my father, Crimson. Sir, this is my boss, Blitz. And my... Millie, I'm his wife. And what a beautiful wife you are. Mox, why well, you been hiding this pretty little thing? Oh, I'm sure he would have introduced us. Eventually. Oh, I'm sure. You gotta be Blitz with the silent O, right? I've heard a lot of good things about you and your work. Really? What kind of shit has Moxie been spreading about me? I'll fucking kill you, Moxie! Don't you fucking test me! No, no! From all over. Looks like you're building a bit of a name for yourself here, kid. Really? Huh. Well, I guess it's about time folks recognize my talent. <laughs> I like your attitude. Well, I hope you're all hungry. We put together a fabulous dinner for you. Hey, baby. Why haven't I met your pa before? Well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just never been a... Hey, you two. Move it before it gets cold. Look, look, Millie, we can talk about it later. Shh. 
so blitz. You always been a hitman? Oh, no, not always. Yeah, I was in the circus for a long time. Show business. Good money in that. What are we doing here? Sir? Moxie, I raised you better than that. You know there's no business before dinner. Besides, we're still waiting on one more. <laughs> what is up, party people? Chance? Wait! What? what? You know him? Ugh. You remember that ex I was talking about? Looks like I have two big sex <laughs> reunions today. How lucky am I? Did you date him too? <laughs> yeah, no big deal, but I've usually boned half the people in any room I'm Are in. Are you fucking kidding me? There's someone who's fucked both of you? It was a long time ago. But I still remember it like it was yesterday. You, a fledgling mafioso. Me, the dashing and extremely sexy muscle. It was like it was written in the stars. Ha! Moxie in the mafia, that's fucking rich. Oh, shit. You've never told me this before. I, I don't really like to talk about this part of my life, but I first saw Chaz at my induction into the family. Our eyes met from across the room, and there was just something about him. Something that was magnetic. It's been 84 years. Isn't that from that boat movie? Did any of that stuff actually happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he skipped over the jizz-covered parts. Anyway, things changed when we went on a heist together. So, what are you in for? Okay, not much of a talker, are we? Ugh, I'm Blitz, the O is silent. Now I'm sure we're gonna get along just fine. So what's your deal, what'd you do, who'd you diddle? You look like someone who's good with a gun, you look like someone who'd shoot up an office, and I hope you are, because so I got a plan to get us out of this dump, but I'm gonna need some help. You think you can give me a hand? I need to get out to my daughter. The babysitter will kill me if I don't get back soon. You like kids? Let me tell you, they're a fucking door. Once I got out, I never looked back. Well, like you said, it was a long time ago. Crazy bitch! Hey, 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 hey! Hold on, you're a gonna die, bitch. Dinner is served. So this is aggressively uncomfortable. I suppose you want to know why you're here. Yeah, so what gives? I mean, you know we kill people on Earth, right? We don't normally do contracts for locals, so if you want to do business with us, you gotta... I don't want to do business with IMP. I want to do business with Moxie. Me? Yeah, kid. I summoned IMP to be sure you'd show. Because, well, we're bringing Chaz into the family. What? Since when can just anyone join the family? Come on, Mox. You had responsibilities here that I had to pick up once you left. Now Chaz is going to lighten the load. Wait, I thought you always hated his guts. Well, I don't know if I exactly hated him. You called him a friendless horse fucker and said we lived a sissy lifestyle. Yeah, well, I was wrong. You've been gone a long time, Mox. A man can change. And so is Chaz. Yeah, I've grown, matured, and recently came into millions. 
but you know, mostly the mature thing. Oh, okay, okay. So the horseless friend fucker over here gets a little moolah, and suddenly it's worth wasting our time over? Well, I'm the whole package, if you know what I mean. I got a big dick. What does any of this have to do with Moxie? There's gonna be a ceremony tomorrow. Moxie here is going to officially release his holdings in the organization. Then you can get back to ignoring your family to your heart's content. Maybe he wouldn't ignore his family if they didn't force him to rub elbows with a no good shark tooth fuck face. Yay, look, everybody, relax. I know tensions have been high tonight. Say, why don't you stay here and get some rest? We'll have the ceremony tomorrow, and then you will be free to leave. I have your rooms all prepared. Yes, sir. Max? A moment, Moxie. Just give me a minute, Millie. I'll be there. So, you think you're too good for this family now? What? Come here. I... I don't understand. You think you're gonna just get to walk away from this family and never come back? You're dead wrong, Mox! Matter of fact, the only thing you're right about is that that obnoxious piss stain can't get made. Not unless he marries in. M marries But but who would he... Who do you think? This family needs that money. And it's about time your pathetic ass was useful for something. Sir, I'm already married. I, I can't... You think I give a shit about your stupid beard? Come on, Mox. I even went through the trouble of making the house more to your kind's liking. Wait, what? What do you think I'm into? What? This is the kind of shit gays like, right? Okay, first off, Dad, I'm bisexual. Yeah, gay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Secondly, I don't know a single person of any sexuality who'd enjoy this. Ah, there's dicks in the walls. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Look at me, kid. One way or another, you're gonna do what I fucking say. Don't cross me. your lesson, Moxie. This is what happens when you cross me. Now get to bed, Moxie. You have a big day tomorrow. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, and Mox, if you ever talk back to me again, you and that pretty little thing you brought here are going home in boxes. Capiche? Yes, sir. Crimson wants you all to stay in separate rooms. Why? Moxie? It's just one night, Millie. It's okay. Max, are you okay? I'm fine. Please don't worry, sweetie. You know you can tell me anything, right? Yes. Everything's fine. Your partner's, Max. It's just my dad. It's okay, really. It'll be over tomorrow. 
Okay. I love you. I love you too. Good night. What the fucking why? Like what I've done with the place? Ugh. Just get out of here. Come on, Mom. We used to have so much fun here, remember? I married Chaz, and even if I weren't, I would never... Never what? Let me take you to come town again. You are so gross. Just leave me alone. I know what you want most, Moxie Popsy. How about a sexually charged musical number, hey? You always love those. you wondering when I'm gonna crack you open like a walnut? And the answer is soon. <laughs> now I'm feeling what you're feeling, and I'm feeling that you wanna feel my feelings and feel the feel. You feel me? Saxophone here. So let me get a little something off my chest while I blow a hot emotional load of yours. Moxie, feeling foxy. I wanna give a good taste of your moxie. works. Hey there, good looking. Oh, I was wondering how long it would take for you to make a pass. Hmm, does that mean you're down to clown? Ew, what, you think I would violate my friend's trust by sleeping with their ex, especially one who fucked them over the way you did? I'll show you all the things they liked in the sack. Deal. Chill the fuck out! Yeah! Okay, fucker, nobody who's that bad in bed can score two hotties that easily. I know you gotta be hiding something. That. No one fucks with Eminem's marriage but me. No. Oh. oh. Sorry, babe. You aren't the only junk in my trunk. <laughs> Damn it. That is not a good one. What's wrong? Hey, hey, the man of the hour. You ready to get started? Wait, where's Blitz? I think I saw him head outside. He said something about needing some fresh air or something. Why don't you grab him so we can get moving? Be right back, baby. What you looking so glum for, kid? It's your wedding day. Best day of your life. I'm not doing it. What was that? I couldn't make it out over the sound of you being a whiny bitch. I said I'm not doing it, sir. I've spent my whole life being afraid of you, but I'm not giving up the only good thing I've ever had just so you can keep your fragile little sense of control over everything. Millie is a good woman. A better woman than I deserve. And there's nothing that scares me more than hurting her. Not even you. I'm leaving, Dad. And if you or Herpes the Clown over here... Hey! Try to stop me. You'll learn firsthand. 
just how good I've gotten at my job. Now take care of the others. Oh, Millie, you found me. Who's your friend? Friend? Everyone here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's get this thing rolling, eh? Oh, You told me all the chairs would be filled. Uh. Satisfied? Oh, fuck yes. What is going on? That seductive dickhole is trying to marry Moxie, and he's not even rich. Mo Do you, Cheswick Herman, take Moxie Nalassa's name to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh, yeah. And do you, Moxie, whatever, take Cheswick Herman to be your lawfully wedded uh... Look at that. He's just so fucking happy to be here. Everything's locked down. How are we gonna get in? <laughs> should probably know Chaz isn't even rich okay check his car he just played you like a fucking rube <laughs> later losers <laughs> Millie thank you for saving me you're amazing next time just tell me if your dad is a psychopath I can handle it. Well, I'm glad everything ended up okay. Good to know we both have daddy issues, Mox. Also, I got to plow your ex-boyfriend. Isn't that great? Now we all fuck the same guy. Stolas. Stella. Witch. Ugh. Fuck his imp sucker! Why did you insist on meeting me here? Ahem, we wanted to properly discuss the terms of this divorce. I feel my darling sister deserves a bit more compensation. After all, you did cheat on the poor thing. Surely you owe. And Drielfus, cheating implies there was a betrayal. This woman never gave two shits about me, or our very much arranged marriage. As far as I'm concerned, this divorce is far overdue. Up yours! Stella, for fuck's sake, stop making this harder to bullshit! Ah, 
dear, this is worrisome. Now, oh, shit, stole this. It's really not a good time, buddy. I'm sorry it's a bad time yet again, Blitzy, but I'm... I seem to have found myself in a bit of a sitch. I'm tied on the back of a horse at the moment. <laughs> Lucky bitch. Um, well, no, rather unlucky. I seem to have been stolen by that little cowboy friend of yours. Oh, uh, which one? How many cowboys do you know? What does he look like, Your Highness? Mm, sexy? That's Striker, sir! Oh, for fuck's sake, can't you just get away? Aren't you powerful? I believe he has me bound with blessed rope, which limits my ability to free myself, I'm afraid. So, I think you should come save me. Oh, shit. Stolas, I can't today. Right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm literally on my way to take Luna in for her very important Helby's S-H-O-T. And it takes years to book an appointment at this place. It took five for me to get this one, so, you know, and, and she's been doing a lot of field work, so, you know, she needs it. Oh, ha, ha. Well, I do agree. That is very important. But I... You shut up already. I can hear you, by the way. Don't worry about your lanky birdie. He's in good hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I in danger right now? God damn it. Let me and Moxie handle this one. Okay, are you too sure that you got this alone? We can do it, sir. Together, we are a lethal combo. And we both have a score to settle with that dickhead. All right, well, hurry. Solo sounds like he might be in real shit this time. And knowing that guy's aesthetic, my money's that he's in wrath. Now get your asses down there and look for some cowboy crap or something. Come on, Looney. Come on, this'll be over lickety split, all right? Christ on a stick of all the days for him to get his stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole. All right, the fuck you looking at? Hey, it's I'm here for that uh, S H O T for my knee to knee. The what? Ugh, the B U L L shit that my daughter has to get every year that U M O T H E R. Fuckers only allow us to schedule every five years. How the fuck you fuck up that bad anyway, titty haver? Oh, I can't spell. I can't read either. The hell bees shot, you fucking really can't say that word anymore. The appointment is under blitz. Um, I don't see any blitz on the list. With an O. It's silent, you fucking... Oh, an O. Oh, right here. Yep, yep. Blitzo. Blitzo. Yes, well, we will be ready for her in just a bit. Please take a seat, Mr. O. Perf. Oh, don't worry, Looney. It's okay. It's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse me? Pervert. Assassin in the ring of wrath. He's Striker. He's Striker. Sure shooting, darn tootin'. His name is Striker. Gonna bring that bird back to his lair. With his magic rope and his western flame. He's very good at causing pain. And he loves to ride on the choo-choo. Stealing. He's a villain striker. He's fast and strong and tall and mean. The foulest imp you've ever seen. He'd break your bones to hear him crunch. He likes to eat past me for lunch. He's striker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's striker. He's striker. Hey, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to do my fucking job! You coming in here singing about me for the million fucking time! Leave me the hell alone, you freaks! How does one get their own theme song? So, yeah, nice weather we're having, huh? Look, Mommy! They let fire 
toads in here. The fuck did you just call me? It's not polite to call them that to their face, honey. Wait until we're in the car. You got a problem with me? <gasps> there is a child present, you filthy Rathian. Oh, I am not from Wrath, bitch. Also, my kid's here too, and I don't think she would appreciate you calling her father things. Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please. I bet the hardest work you ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Oh, yeah? And what do you do that's so important? Me? Oh, <laughs> I kill people. How does a two-for-one special sound, whore? Mr. Owl, the doc will see your hound now. I'll grab the gas, Millie. Go and see if anyone's seen Stryker anywhere. Hey, queer boy! You stealing my hat? What? Same hat! Oh, sorry, my wife just put this hat on my head. You know, because it was hot outside. Uh, same hat. <sighs> so we're doing this, huh? Howdy, boy! Y'all seen this motherfucker riding around here? No! No, no, singing! Just a yes or no, please. Yeah, he lives out by the bad man lands in the old train tunnel. Near the mine shafts. Very outlaw aesthetic. You can't miss it. Thank you kindly. Come on, Mox, we gotta lead! So, my wife paid you for this, hmm? Wouldn't a holy bullet have sufficed? Or could you not afford those? I was paid to give you the real royal treatment. Your wife must really hate you. <laughs> you have no idea. So, train tracks? Really? Seems a bit cliché, doesn't it? It's a classic. Is the giant statue of yourself also a classic, or...? Are you seriously judging me right now? I'm just impressed you seem to want to suck your own dick this badly. Look, not every ring is some fancy-ass city with some fancy-ass match that only fancy-ass royals get to live in. Some of us have hard lives to live, and some of us have everything we care about taken away by fuckers like you. I have no... Ah! <laughs> ah! You don't get to talk over me. I don't have to listen to your bullshit. All the royals ever do is try to talk over us. <laughs> don't bother trying your little eye trick on me. Those ropes ain't gonna let you do anything. Got something to say about that? Your Highness. Well, you seem to be forgetting. You are working for a royal right now. <laughs> Blitz handles me rougher than that in bed. Nice try. Blitzy's knife is bigger and hits so much deeper. Being a smart ass, hmm? Because once I split your neck open and let you choke on your own blue blood, you won't be worth any more than the tombstone you'll be buried under. Blitzy says far dirtier things to me with much sharper objects at my throat. Welcome, Bingo. And this must be Tuna. Luna, yeah, and you can hurry up, please. She's a fan of shots, so let's try and make this quick, for all of our sakes. Oh, come now. It can't be that bad. I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. <laughs> So, earlier, that assassin, was that you? Mm, guilty, yes, it was. You silly minx, you. <laughs> Though, you know, if your husband dies, it won't turn out well for you. He'll be dead, why wouldn't it? Because, my dear sister, you've already produced an heir. 
When he dies, his duties, his possessions, his allegiance, it will all pass to Via. So, if you kill him, you would... Hmm? Laugh? <laughs> no, you stupid cow! You did nothing! Oh, you're so lucky you're attractive. Ah, uh, well, what do you propose we do? He won't leave me anything willingly. He hates me almost as much as I hate him. Hmm, well, this kind of situation is extremely unique. A Goetia has never behaved like this before. But with him alive, we have options. Opportunities. Eternity is a long time, my dear. I say we bide our time and wait for the chance to gain the upper hand. Oh, but I want him dead so badly! And he will be in time, my fiery vixen. But patience first. No, call off your mangy stray. Well, this has been fun, but every good thing has to come to an end. Shame you won't see your kid again. Don't you dare breathe a word about my daughter. Ooh, finally hit a nerve, huh? I swear, if you go near her, I will destroy you. Big talk, but just that. Any last words, Goisha? Let's. <laughs> Will. That rodeo clown told you he ain't coming. Nobody is coming. Hello? Change the plans, darling. I need the prick alive. I'm kind of in the middle of killing him. Well, stop it. We need him alive to get some affairs in order. I will pay you more to spare him and bring him to us. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Glorious. Mm. Well, good news for you, Feathers. Your royal <laughs> says she don't want you dead no more. But she didn't say what condition you had to be in. I think these reds might be a pretty trophy. Can't have you seeing me again, can we? Hmm?
get him to a hospital! Oh, good. You guys actually managed to... Oh! Uh, sir? Are you okay? Oh, Peachy! Yeah, no, today's been wonderful! What the fuck was that about? Stolas got hurt bad. Stolas got what? <laughs> Ow. He can get hurt? <laughs>